What sort of inquiries are you getting? Yeah, I'm getting inquiries really from all over the UK because of the forage aid scheme that I started and ran last year. People know what I did and so obviously you know, this has really touched hearts again and so because I'm known uh, for helping last year they thought I was a natural first contact point to start anything. But yeah, you know, I am helping uh, and anybody who's got any fee to donate, um, you know, the compassion is there still. And haulage also is an issue, as ever. Yes, it, it is, and it's one of these things, I think, that whatever you could do in this, in this job, moving stuff about, haulage is an issue, because as you know, haulage isn't cheap, and you know, man's hours and fuel and running a lorry is not cheap, but it was the same situation as last year, that the farmers here are having a real job with the feed and everything, and uh, so it requires free haulage to do it, so yeah, it, it is the haulage that, that it is, is, is an issue, but I'm also very conscious that we had a lot of people, obviously last year, who contributed and helped, and uh, I'm a bit reluctant, obviously, to go to those same people because they, you know, they did enough and did an awful lot last year. And there's enough hauliers out there on in the UK, you know, who will do it again, you know, this year who didn't help last year and who will step in. What, what sort of hauliers are coming forward? Well, we've had various one-man band hauliers like farmers hauliers as well as big companies. But a really interesting development yesterday was Tesco actually came on board and through Stobarts, who are their main main uh, contractors, and Tesco said they're willing to help and have actually already started moving two loads, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, I think, because the supermarkets get quite a bit of stick, you know, generally not supporting British agriculture. But I think really Tesco have led this way, and I think Tesco have led you know, from the front there, and that's brilliant in the show that you know they're supporting in British agriculture. So it's everybody in the supply chain, right from the sort of the feed, feed companies that are helping through to the farmers themselves, right the way to the retailers? It is. You know, we've got one man band lorries and farmers, if you like, which was one lorry, right through to massive companies like Stobart. So, you know, really refreshing to see people like that coming through. But one other area that is, is need at the minute, is in need that we sort of maybe forget, is machinery. And it's forklifts as an area that that's, uh, is very lacking, because some of these farmers down there, all right, they've all got their own forklifts, yes, but they're submerged underwater, some of them. And uh, I spoke to one of the farmers this morning who was badly affected, and he said his tractors are in his yard, but the water is already up to the seat in the cab. It's that deep, so right. those tractors obviously they can't be moved. So it's forklifts are also required.